Hello there, I'm Black Pride, broadcasting out of the UK into the into your homes, and today I'm going to be talking about an American um, situation that, that alarmed me, and yeah, um, if it's the first time you're passing through on my channel, please click the thumbs up, if you don't like it, put the thumbs down, you can share, subscribe, and you can interact with my wonderful subscribers, and just want to thank my subscribers for interacting and commenting and giving me feedback, and yeah, all of that lovely stuff. Um, today is not such a great thing because um, Zimmerman, George Zimmerman, has decided he's going to sue the family or the parents of Trayvon Martin. Um, One hundred million dollars. You know what the sad thing about that is? He was acquitted and being acquitted he can do that because by virtue of being acquitted, they're more or less saying, well, we can't prove that you were guilty. And therefore, he can now turn around and say, oh, you sue for wrongful arrest, which is what he's doing, um, trauma, um, everything, you know, um, wrongful arrest and all kinds of damage to reputation, $100 million. He's suing the Trayvon Martin after all of that. And if you saw the videos, it's such a sad state of affairs. I don't know how many people of you followed it up because, I mean, in the UK, we don't really follow up too much about the American um, happenings. I mean, sometimes we can't help it. And Trayvon Martin was one of those... Um, deaths that did appear on our screens, but not to the extent that appeared on American screens. Trayvon Martin was a 17-year-old, and he did have um, a conviction from pot, what I think they call, I don't know what they call pot, whether it's um, weed, I don't know, but he had a small um, conviction for pot at some point in his life. Anyway, he had, he was going home, he had just bought some Skittles, you know those sweets, and I think he'd bought a juice, and he was talking to his girlfriend on the phone. As he's talking to his girlfriend on the phone, he could sense that somebody was following him, i.e. George Zimmerman. George Zimmerman apparently calls the police and says, look, you know, there's a black guy wandering around the streets and he looks like he's on drugs. And I'm following him. And apparently the police told them him not to follow him. But he turned around and said to the police, these niggas get away with everything. They get away. They get away with too much. And he just put down the phone. Now, even with that evidence, even with that evidence, they still said that the evidence against him was non-conclusive. So what's happened now is Zimmerman has apparently, there's no proof, which is why he got off, but listen to the facts in quotes. Zimmerman is then following this man, this boy. His girlfriend is on the phone, so he, he could hear him say, why are you following me? And the next thing you know, there were 14 screams in 14 seconds. Now, Zimmerman is saying those screams were his screams. And yet, in the um, video, the camera, there is not a mark on his body. No bruises, no cuts, nothing. And yet, he is saying that um, Trayvon Martin got on top of him, banged his head against the ground twice, three times, got on top of him, started hitting him around the face, doing all of that. And then when he saw him go for his gun, he says, I'm going to kill you, mother MF. I mean, surely the jury could see from the evidence. And also what I was wondering is, what did Trayvon Martin's body look like? Did he just have a shot or did, was he bruised? Was he battered? Was, it, you know, could they see um, signs of violence? Because that is what would determine whose screams they were. And, you know, the sad thing is, is that the father heard the screams and said, that's not my son. 
But how would he know it is his son if he's never heard his son in that state of fear before? Afterwards, he retracted it, but of course, it's too late. Meanwhile, Zimmerman's girlfriend is saying, oh, yes, it is. That's my George. That's my George. He is my George. That's him. And she's bawling her eyes out. So when you've got evidence like that, you've got no concrete witnesses. Somebody said from the window, it looked like it was a darker person on the ground. But nobody had concrete witnesses. So he gets off shooting him and they, because they're saying they can't determine whether it's murder, manslaughter or self-defence. So he gets away with shooting a 17-year-old. How would, I don't know if you've seen Trayvon Martin's frame and George Zimmerman's frame, as if Trayvon Martin, and the thing is, what they reckon was that George Zimmerman was one of these neighbourhood, wanted he was a wannabe cop, one of these overzealous neighbourhood watchmen who kind of um, went around the area looking to do good, looking out for the area sees Trayvon Martin and decides he wants to kill him. And now to add insult to injury, to pour salt on the wound, he is now suing the family for 100 million. And it would not surprise me if he, if he gets it. Because the, the, um, the defence attorney that they had, he sounded like a Sounded like it was a masquerade in that in that courtroom. He didn't sound serious. He was animated, gesticulated, using all of these tones as though he was trying to make out like he was not black, but you know those that kind of frivolousness in his mannerisms in 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 defending so called defending Trayvon Martin. If I was in that jury, I wouldn't have taken him seriously. And now look what's happened. They probably thought everything was done and dusted, everything. I've lost my son, just got over the grieving. It happened in 2012. Just getting over the grieving process. And Zimmerman decides now, today I think it was, earlier this morning, that he's going to sue Trayvon Martin's parents. And like I said, he can because he was acquitted. If you're acquitted, it's as though you're innocent because... The, re the difference between acquittal and not guilty is that with acquittal, they just don't have enough evidence to prove that you're guilty. Whereas non-guilty means you definitely clear of everything. So I don't think I've put anything um, on here that I haven't said. Put Zimmerman was acquitted after a three-week trial, a verdict which means he is not guilty, that he can sue them for wrongful arrest and everything that goes with that. Acquittal is a verdict of a jury or a decision of a judge that an accused hasn't been proven to be guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. A not guilty verdict isn't the only way for an acquittal to come about. Trial judges and appeal courts can, for example, effectively acquit defendants by finding that there was insufficient evidence of guilt. And the thing is, you know, even if you listen to um, Zimmerman's videos, I mean, you can tell it's a load of crap. I was listening to them today, you know. Oh, Trayvon, he got on top of me. He says, I'm going to kill you and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. None of it makes an ounce of sense. And if they put all the evidence together, and I don't believe that they even thought about looking at Trayvon's body to see if it had marks on it, that would prove who was underneath, who was being attacked. It would have proved it. They should exhume, I mean, it'd be sad for the parents, but they should exhume his body. I mean, if he's going to take it this far, if George Zimmerman is going to take it this far, they should exhume that body and see who was lying. Look for the bruises, look for any kind of assault on that body because George Zimm Zimmerman didn't have any. And get that verdict overturned so he is guilty of murder. 
if that is the case. But like you say, if you haven't got enough evidence, like what they're saying, but they should have enough evidence. I don't know. It's just a very, very sad state of affairs. But I just wanted to draw it to your attention. And that's all for now. Bye bye.